Yeah, uh, okay, uh, it, it is reasonable. All right, so it started off as me just watching YouTube and I quickly saw how big a thing that Chrome OS Flex was. Everybody seemed to be raving about how good Chrome OS is and how better of a thing it was than running Windows on low-end specs. And so what did I do? Well, I quickly searched up a perfectly working normal Windows laptop. Everything was working. The keyboard was fine, the power switch was fine, the webcam, well... Camera quality is absolutely trash. It was fine for what it was. The screen was whatever it was, but then it was fine, it worked. Everything worked and there was no big major damage. But then my idea was that well, it, run, it runs pretty slow, so why not make it better and download a Chrome OS Flex? And I did download it. Now, I did go through my own pains and hassles of actually downloading Chrome OS Flex because first up, you had to download it from Google. Google had like a separate site for that because this is still actually not full-fledged like supported stuff. And talking about the support, which I will come back to later. Um, this laptop right here is actually not supported and I did not see that before but that did not ruin any of my Chrome OS Flex actual use case. Now the thing is that I downloaded Chrome OS Flex which involved a bunch of like using pins which I had to poke inside of the laptop so that it would go into its own boot menu. Yeah no it was it was very different and no, this is not a tutorial on to like how to actually make your laptop run Chrome OS, but it's more of like me just saying how I did that and I kind of screwed up my laptop. So basically what happened was that I did all of the things, went through all of the instructions, trialed Chrome OS first. I loved Chrome OS. I genuinely did love Chrome OS. Like I can run Linux apps. There is a specific place for Linux apps. I don't know why I want to run Linux apps, but I can. So it, it was generally good. And it's not like I just opened Chrome OS Flex and it wouldn't like open or it had a lot of bugs and stuff. It was really good. It was like using a Mac and an iPhone, how both of them actually sync. It's the same thing, but then with an Android phone. So it quickly recognized my Android phone as soon as I logged into my email account. It felt so good for some reason. I, I actually liked it so much, although it did not sync all my notifications for some weird reason. Uh, I want to talk about battery life because the battery life is the biggest problem that let me over here. See, battery life, I was expecting a lot more from Chrome OS than in Windows. Like a Windows machine of this thing, like I also use this for web browsing and stuff. I can't, I can't edit on this. This is a Core i5 from like a fifth or a fourth gen. I did actually do that and uh, I ran Chrome OS. I had like a whole Zoom meeting on it and I killed the battery. And so what immediately panicked me was that I did not actually change the boot menu back to the hard drive where the actual Chrome OS was actually installed. And so now I was kind of screwed because see, I did not actually change the boot menu back nor was Chrome OS actually fully supported for my device, and uh, yeah, I got myself into a lot of trouble. It did post, but then the fans start and stop running in a second. I didn't know why, I thought it was kind of like the laptop's fault, and um, I naively took it apart. some of the pins. I took apart a laptop and I've never taken apart a laptop. So I did that and 
looks like there's actually not a lot of problems on the inside, except that I actually made problems. See, at first, like after this actually went out, nothing went responsive. So I thought it was just the battery set. And then when the battery is full, and how do I know it's full? Because it clearly shows a white LED that it's full. And so I try to turn it on. It turns on and turns off. It doesn't show anything on the screen. It just turns on and turns off. And so what I thought was, oh, it's probably like static just built into the computer. And I thought I could release it by watching a lot of YouTube tutorials, taking out the battery plug, taking out the keyboard and mouse plug, and then putting back in. And now it doesn't even show the LED. So I do not know what to do at all. I am a serious, not good person with laptops. So this laptop was working really well, but then now it doesn't work. I messed up big time. What do you have to learn from this video? This video completely tells you to not do stuff in an impulse, which I do a lot of times and end up like this. And uh, what I would say is that Chrome OS Flex is really good. I got to try it out. It was really good. I hope I get another like one of these really low end laptops so I can actually do that. And uh, secondly, if you're downloading something, like you have to first check the support page because the support page is also important even though you do have the confidence that this would still work even though it's not listed on the support page. And then the third, if you do not have any experience with laptops, please do not do that because I ended up doing that and then now I had to go to the repair shop to ask for this. It's just sitting there unrepaired. I'm trying to figure it out myself. This is more of like a learning lesson because I made the mistake and it was a perfectly working laptop and I was the one who actually messed it up. Chrome OS Flex, really good. Make sure you follow the steps right and actually do it right. But in the end, it comes down to one thing. I kind of broke this laptop all by myself.